Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm showing you how to set up, play and review the game Seven Wonders Architects. If you're watching this on Board Game Arena, hello and welcome. Yes, I've played every game on Board Game Arena. If you haven't too, by all means, it's a fun activity. And of course, please ensure you hit the like button wherever you are watching this. So this particular game, it's a reimplantation of the game Seven Wonders and Seven Wonders Second Edition and Seven Wonders Duel. So those games you can also play on Board Game Arena, just as an example. And right now you're going to take out a cartridge, one of these little cases, for each player who is going to be playing the game. Now I've played with quite a few of these already, I haven't played with everything so far, but let me take one out and show you how it works. You're going to need one of these each. If you had just bought the game as per my unboxing video, you'll need to lay on some stickers so you can see how it looks prior to that. You're going to take out each part of your little monument that they're looking to create, your structure and put it to the scaffolding side, that's this side up. Now, of course, if you're playing this online, it's all already gonna be done for you. As per the sticker, that is gonna be how you're gonna be laying it out. So you must build them in order. You must build the bottom bit first, and then in this instance, you've got to be building these pieces. So you can choose either of them to build first, depending on what resources you have. And this is a game that takes, it says 25 minutes. I played it in under 15 minutes when I played it, for example, as a two. So there we are, we have now constructed our particular design, our particular item that we're looking to build, our certain wonder, and then we're gonna set out everything else relevant for the other player, and of course, for the uh, the common stack. Now I say the other player, I'm gonna be setting this game up as a two, and you can play it two to seven, which is the original Seven Wonders did as well, but unlike the original Seven Wonders, it wasn't highly regarded as a two player game. I did finally have a chance to try it out, and I do agree that it's not very good, unfortunately. That kind of drafting didn't work for me. I'm surprised sometimes a two-player draft does work quite effectively. So depending on the player count, you're also going to have some peace and war symbols. So as a three-player game or a two-player game, you're laying out some of these dove symbols as well. I do have a different light going on, so I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the glimmer there. So you're going to have a deck of cards going on here. Your opponent is also going to have a deck of cards and they're going to be shuffled up first. So you're going to give these a bit of a shuffle up. They have various different things. Grey cards representing, of course, different kind of resources. Green cards for science. Other cards as well. There are no uh, guild cards. There are no purple cards in this. You can also have other cards in here. Wild cards, which are gold and or coins. And also you have military, which happens to be red. I'll talk to you about military in a moment. So you have, <clears throat> have that set up. And then you're also going to take out your special progress tokens, which is very similar to Seven Wonders Duel. And you're going to be laying out three face up, three things you can pick from. And you can have uh, an extra stack you can pick from as well, which is face down. Now, I'll just give you an example of what one of these tokens means. What this particularly means is for each of these progress tokens you have at the end of the game, you're scoring two victory points. So right now it's worth two victory points. There's also a cat token. <clears throat> this is not a first player token. What this represents is at the end of the game you have it, it's worth two victory points. It also lets you peek at the middle deck. Now, what I'll show here, you tilt this to get the cards out. There are 60 standard cards in the center you can pick from. Of course, there are 25 cards as well in each of your individual stacks. So, how does the game work? Well, the youngest player starts is how they recommend it. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be saying, right, okay, so I'm gonna be set up. Let's say I'm going first. You put your stack between yourself and the person to your left and then you've obviously got the central stack you can pick from, and then the person to your right will have their stack between them and you. So you can do it like that, or in a two-player game like this, of course, different number of players, you can do things differently. So now what I can do, well, my first turn, I can either take this, or I can take that, or I can take a wild. Again, I can't take this yet, and you'll see what happens in a moment. So right now, I'm looking to construct either two different wonders or two of the same, two different elements. So I can take this resource here, that represents one of them, or I can take a science. If I have two cogs of the green of the type, it allows me to take one of these things, or I have each different type, there's three different types as per regular Seven Wonders, which I'll show you in a moment, then of course you can take one of these as well instead. When you take them, you discard the cards, you take the item, and similar thing works with science. Right now, I'll just take this card here. Why? Because I can now either work for two different ones or two of the same. It's their turn, they take whatever. I happen to take these two. If I say it's now my turn, I have two. I've now got two of these, I flip this over, it's worth four victory points, and now these go into a discard pile in the center. So let's put them out of the way. It's their turn, it's my turn. This time, let's say I take one of these. It's their turn, it's my turn. This time I take this, and this time, of course, I get a cat, and it's worth two victory points. 
It's their turn, it's my turn. I happen to take this, which happens to be military. Because it's got a horn, I go which unlike regular Seven Wonders, you can see people sneakily lay out their military. What you do, of course, I've got one shield, so I'm a bit more victorious than them anyway, and I'm flipping this over. When all three get revealed due to horns, you can pay your military, and if you have the most military, you take a three victory point marker. If in a two-player game, you have twice as much shields, you're gonna take another one of these. So, if you happen to have done only that, anything with a horn goes away as well. So let's keep going and see what happens. It's their turn, it's my turn, I take another one, so I've got a bit more shields. It's their turn, it's my turn, let's say I take this. It's their turn, it's my turn. What I should really have been doing, and you can easily forget, is because you have the cat, I don't know why it's a cat, it's like a Cleopatra thing, you can look at the top card first. And I go, well, based on that, I will take it. I have two, they happen to be identical, which means they go into the discard pile. I can take one of these markers. Let's say I just take, let's take I go blind. This one, okay, this is quite cool. This happens to mean whenever I happen to complete a part of my wonder, I get to draw an additional card. So now it's their turn, it's my turn. I can peek, I can look at the card. And this is where it's very interesting because in, especially in a two player game, if I'm looking at a card and I put it back, they're thinking, is it because they don't want it or is it because they know I don't want it? So I happen to take it, I go brrr, it goes again. You do that, it's their turn, it's my turn. I could just take some victory points, but let's alternate it. Look at this card here. Yeah, let's go for some different symbology. It's their turn, it's my turn. This time I'm gonna look another time over. I've got enough military, I don't really care. And I'm gonna take this card. And I've got two different things, not quite enough. It's their turn, it's my turn. I could actually get another of these uh, gems, but let's just go for something different. More military, I don't want that, so let's just take that, stop them getting it. I could layer it over there. It's their turn, it's my turn, have a look here. Well, let's just trigger this battle. So now it's this turn's trigger, I take that, it goes brr, brr. So there are two horns, but only one will get revealed. That all flips, I happen to win, I have more military, by at least two to one in a two player game, I take two. Remember, just a single one in a multiplayer game, well, more than two. These are all discarded because they have horns in it. And that's how the game progresses. It progresses until finally someone completes their final part of their wonder. If they do that, then what happens? That ends the game and then you count the victory points. Just for the time being, I just wanna show you what happens when you have, uh, well, obviously gold. So I've got three different things here. So that would flip over. So I've got another five victory points. The wonder's starting to look more and more impressive. And of course, by all means, please support the channel and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit the notification bell. Of course, hit the like button as well. As I mentioned, share, uh, check out the comments and descriptions. Of course, Patreon links are there as well as following on Instagram. So that link's all over there in the description, of course, in YouTube. And finally, let me show you what happens when, of course, that gold one comes up. So we have some gold, it would have been the next card. So right now, that's working as a wild. So the next thing I want is three of the same. I look at it, I don't care about it. Let's just say I take let's just say I take the three here. My turn again, I'll take another one. Ugh, these have been shuffled. I'll take the next one. I've still got the cats, so that could have swung, especially in a two-player game. And of course, let's just say I now get three of the same. Well, I could use multiple of them. And let's see what happens. I've got two of them, that would have given me one of them. They've been discarded. Three of the same. So now I flip that over as well. And now permanently, I've also got some more military. So some of them have military, some of them gives you extra cards, some of them that you pick from, say, five cards, etc. So what do I think of the game? Well, I'll start with one thing initially. I highly recommend you actually throw your cards into separate discard piles. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you have to spend just a couple of minutes resorting your deck. So you have to put your decks back into individual area as well, so bear in mind that. All the decks are the same though, the same 25 cards, I believe. Uh, aside from that, I very much enjoy the game. <laughs> My rating is actually a 7.7. .7. Nothing to do with the fact that it's seven wonders and stuff like that. I just, uh, I, it's quick. As you can see, it's not a simultaneous game, unlike the originals, but it is a fast game. Like I said, under 15 minutes to play. It says 25 minutes. Um, I'm thinking it's a lot quicker than that. I don't think it matters how many players you have. Like I said, two to seven, it doesn't have a, an effect on that. Of course, slightly slower with more players because it is uh, obviously turn-based as opposed to simultaneous. And aside from that, you know, it's got this wonderful dual feel to it with these tokens here. Wonderful dual feel, knowing that these can go back and forth. That's very effective. But the cat in particular, I like as a two, very effective as a two. I like the idea of you know, the trumpeting and stuff as well. Some people find it too light. Some people think there's a bit too much luck in these cards. But the fact is, you know that if someone's starting to build up certain cards, there's some glass cards in here that I've seen people take before. And of course, knowing that they've taken a few of them, that's 
if I've already got one of them and I'm trying to get for three of the same, then of course that's made me thinking, well, actually I'll focus on something different. Of course, as I completed my wonder, I would have actually got an extra ability as well. So I've drawn an extra card. So that's very nice too. Like I said, make sure you keep an eye out on your cards so they're placed back here. As I said, I have played every game on Board Game Arena, but as of speaking, I haven't played this particular game on Board Game Arena. Currently in beta, and I think it's going to end on beta probably in a day's time or something like that. Uh, equally, you know, I like the components very much. The size of the cards are nice. It's, they're not too thick, not too thin. Um, I think in terms of the fact that you're not drafting, I might have influence on that. I like the artwork very much. I think it's very nice. Of course, for each different type, they have this kind of look to them. Which is very cool. I think that's one of my favourite ones. The the points, I think it's been quite close. The first game, it was three points in it. The second game was 16 points in it. Do remember though that, of course, military can swing things a bit, especially in a two. And if you don't get any military at all, then of course that person's going to get six victory points as well. Aside from that, of course, these are very nice boxes that they go in. Is it overkill? I don't think necessarily, but it's, it's very neatly stacked away. As you have to see, you have to be placing it quite carefully in here. I guess it would make sense to put the biggest pieces at the top. On Instagram, this one's getting the least likes. I think it's quite scary when I first happen to see it. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. Of course, these all go in here. It looks a bit different to the original uh, Seven Wonders, second edition at least, pieces, which I think isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I think this is the game that actually handles a two-player game as well as more than that. Yes, the drafting's very nice. Yes, it's nice engine building. Uh, some people, that isn't for everybody, so I think this is a nice filler game to fit into that gap as well. The fact that you've got seven different, obviously, factions you can play, they're not double-sided though, but that's still at least seven gameplays, which for most people, that's still quite a significant amount. Uh, aside from that, I know I keep saying that phrase a bit, unfortunately, I um, you know, I have enjoyed it. It's, it's an interesting box size, of course, it's not the same size as the other boxes, and it's, I think it works, I think I've enjoyed I've enjoyed every game I've played so far. Some people might find it too light, but I think I like a game whereby you can have a quick game and just have a great fun with it. And it felt tight the whole way through in, in all the games I've played. So I think there's nothing against it in that respect. I think uh, it's going to definitely work for you. I mean, if you haven't got any of the Seven Wonders games yet, this could well be for you. I think it does, like I said, if you want a two-player game, I do find there's a bit too much luck, actually, in Seven Wonders Duel, of all things. So I like the drafting element, but of course, even though it's simultaneous, you do have usually somebody who you're waiting on as well. And whilst I have played that game in eight minutes, Seven Wonders, uh, the original game, I haven't yet played this in, in, in seven or eight minutes, and I think that makes sense because I think it's a little bit tighter to do. You do have to be conscious, of course, that this one doesn't have a sticker on it. It's just basically, uh, when you first play this game, put these stickers on top. I really hope, obviously, this has helped you in your decision on whether Seven Wonders Architects is for you. Of course, packing the game away, you have to be careful that this goes off to one side because it is a deeper inlay. And, of course, these go on here too. Of course, all the different Wonders have different special abilities as well, so it keeps nice and fresh. And with this particular game, by Repos, and, of course, it's by Antoine Bowser. Well, I hope you very much you've enjoyed this and hopefully it made sense and you uh, have any comments, please, of course, let me know. I very much enjoyed playing Seven Wonders Architects, a quicker version possibly, and of course, something that really works well as two and more. Well, enjoy that video. Thank you.